Hey there, sorry, I didn't see your message at first. Leia Art? Leia Art? Dream's going fine.
Hallelujah.
Ja.
Who could it be? It's Aid. Yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, How are you today? I'm doing alright. I'm uh, just trying to finish up um, painting two of the things that I needed to do. Your Warhammer figure, guys. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's two things that I've left to do. Um, you know how like on the uh, the big guy he has like um, like uh, thorns on his face, basically. Yeah. Um, I have to replicate that on two other things. <laughs> oh, okay. And You're talking about the guy you then... posted in art, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, okay. Like the big one. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. one that looks like that's a robot or whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I have to. Um, I'm replicating that design on the uh, lady with the spear, and then the stupid gun platform thing. Okay. Um. And once I've done that, I have. Uh, six dudes that ride hover bikes, and I have to finish these hover bikes today. So it's a uh... it takes some time. Yeah, yeah. I haven't like posted any pictures of them because they're just like I've left them. Like I like I'll do a little bit, and then I'm just like eh. <laughs> And they're just like half done, and the uh, dudes that ride the hover bikes, they're just like not done at all compared to everything else. So, I do have six six people though. With what hair color should I do? Do what? what? What hair colors should I do for these six people? I have no fucking clue. I am not an oh. art or color-minded person. I am not uh. the person that's. I mean, they're just they're just elves, bro. Yeah. Except some of some of them have mohawks. I don't know. All right. I just gotta.
What are you playing? Dave the Diver. You do be diving. You do be diving. I'll watch a bit of that, I got nothing else to do. There you go. I just have to I have to turn your I have to turn the sound off though, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise you echo, I understand. <laughs> the echo hurts me. Well, I mainly understand hurts my brain. completely. <laughs> Would drive me crazy too. Oh. Uh. I don't know about anyone else, but I um I basically I have to wait for the for myself to stop talking so that then I can continue talking and then you end up in this really weird like ever, you're pausing all the time. You sound like you've got like a fucking brain disorder. Not not you, Ow. me. But yeah, 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 I understand. But also me. <laughs> what do you what do you mean true? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh no. Ugh. The hardest thing about doing this like thorn detail though is like aside from having to get the line fairly like smooth. Yeah. I have to I have to straight up just use a black, a black paint that is like, if I fuck it up, there's no fixing. Right. Because you can't really redo. go back over it with something else. Yeah, I have to just redo the whole fucking thing. Right. But I can go, I can go back, like, but I have to basically, like, I'm doing it on the cloak, so I have to redo the entire cloak. Yeah. I have to like repaint it white, then re reapply the uh, um, sort of ink type paint. I don't really know how to describe it. There's um, there was a like a lacquer kind of paint. No, it's like a few years back. Um, a a new kind of. Uh, miniature paint came out basically. They're very similar to inks, but they're they're not quite the same. Okay. So, with inks, um, typically what you get is like a stain effect. So basically, right. it's uh, they're highly pigmented, but they're slightly translucent. So when you throw it over something, you can see some of the color behind it. Okay. And these paints are so they're kind sort of, of an clear, but they also heavily like modify the clear color yeah. see-through bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you have paint underneath, it influences what paint. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. That, that's how. So that's how I do my skin tone. Yeah. Is um, I use I use a purple paint uh, that's quite translucent, and I dilute it down. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, sh I'll show you the actual paint and what it looks like on like. I'll just paint it on myself. I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Uh, okay, so this is an example of one. This is made Magos purple, right? Citadel color. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna put this down for a second while I open the pot because they're fucking stupid. Oh right. my god, Aiden, your cock and balls are up. Dude, nice. No, it's just my <laughs> leg. Um, right, so so if I get some of this... Yeah. And then I just get my finger, and then I do that. Yeah. You can see how, like... It's, it's actually quite trans... Yeah. Yeah. How, like, the actual natural color of my skin is coming through. Yeah. Um... It makes, uh, and it, you end up with this weird, like, uh, to me, it reminds me of black, when you get picking blackberries, you get blackberry stains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah. So I use that on, uh, skin tones. What's my skin tone? Uh, the one that I used. They're all, like, laid out in front of me. 
Um, fuck. There's so much. There's there's, a, there's too many paints. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this isn't even all my paints. Um, what yeah. is it? Colored witch flesh. There we go. So I have like this like creamy bone color. Yeah. Um. So I I put this on as a base, and then I use this. Um. But I dilute it down with medium. Okay. So with with uh, you can use you can use medium to make normal paint like like this black one work like these ones. Um, but I use it to basically um, thin out the pigment so that it's not quite as strong. I think I follow. Because when I was doing the the raspberry stain thing, or the blackberry stain thing. If you look at these models, mm -hmm. this is ba it uses a different color as a base. It's more of a green, like it's got a lot more green in it. So uh, they end up being kind of sickly. Right. But it's it's just got like unapologetic, like you can see on the and like the elbow of the tentacle how it's just like there's just that pink. Um, yeah. That's just that's just full on that paint. And when I'm doing more human flesh tones, human-esque. I don't want it to be nearly so strong, so I dilute it down with pigment. Uh, not pigment, I dilute it down with medium. So yeah, the pigment doesn't show through as much, and then I wash it over with a... It's a brownie pink wash. It's like brownie orange. It's very weird. I don't know. I don't quite follow it, but it looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do this, and then I don't drop the part, because that's a fucking nightmare. And then I just throw it on my finger. You see how it's just like a very light brown? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, um, combined with the purple, um, makes a very, like, very sort of Caucasian, normal, I'm normal. in danger. Well, it makes a very, like, Caucasian skin tone. Why is this thing uh, still alive? I don't know, it works really well. So I was super impressed. Oh, I was fighting a tiger shark. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, I, I kind of get what, you, what you're talking about. With the translucentness and the high bleeds through color and kind of changes the way the color yeah, yeah, looks yeah. because you're putting like a varnish kind of over it. Yeah, there's a there's an actual art technique or whatever that's uh, called glazing. That that's essentially what I'm doing, but I'm doing it in less steps. Okay. Um. To act, to actually glaze, you would do it with multiple layers, like again and again and again and again and again and again, so you get like a really smooth blend. We did but, glazing when I was in high school art class when we did like pottery. I don't yeah. know if it's the same thing or not. I'm sure you've done plenty of glazing in your time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sort of. Um, I think with pottery, you're trying to protect the surface. You are, yeah. Um, but at the same time, the glaze coat will have a color on it as well, I think, as well. Yeah. Um, so, in effect, you are still doing what art glazing would be, kind of thing. Okay. But I, I think it serves more of a twofold purpose than, say, just straight art. Yeah. Yeah, you paint it on, and then once you fire it, it comes out looking very shiny and basically whatever color you glazed it with. Yeah. I used to have a really nice mug, and I don't actually know what happened to it, but I've made an art class. I hadn't thought about that in years, but I actually have no idea where that's at. Yeah, 
can't believe I got my dick bit off by a tiger shark. Dude, nice. What a world. This fine. No, no. I did like a first pass to try and like get the basic line down. Yeah. And then uh, my second pass is just like it. I just made it way too thick. Oh. It's still fine. Just I don't I don't think it looks nearly as good as my uh the first one. It's I don't know. It's also annoying because it's just like it's over a uh It's over like an entire cloak rather than just like a the other one was just like a not flat surface, but like a smooth surface, rather than like lots of fucking ruffles and shit. That like yeah. affect your brushwork. It's streams a little bit. So I was looking back at my battle bit footage and it was slightly like grainy. Sometimes when there's lots of textures in the game. Textures moving clip, around and stuff, yeah, but I, yeah. Don't, I don't think battle bits I don't know, intense enough that a better bit rate wouldn't just improve it. I was streaming at about 2500 bit rate and I think 2500 to like 3000 is like Recommended, so I just bumped mine to 3500. Should be fine. Probably won't make a difference on Dave the Diver, but whenever I get back around to battle bit again, it will hopefully look a little bit better. <gasps> yeah. Looked fine, but uh, definitely was choppier than I would have wanted. Spotted the oh. jellyfish. Oh. Very good. Oh yeah, they finally added a fucking 
animated emote to Global Twitch. Oh yeah, I saw that Dancy Dino or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really need to fucking call a lot of their emotes. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, there's a lot. Like the the main Twitch ones, they can't just keep adding them. That's where you're wrong, buddy. <laughs> There's so many. There's a lot. Oh my god. Like. There's ones that people pay for, and they're like, yeah, okay, so... Or, like, we're unlocked as part of, like, a, a thing. Yeah. But, like... God, who the fuck? Who uses <laughs> this? Oh, lad, are you talking about, uh, RGB8? Yeah, who uses that? I'm talking about RGB8, the most... The most popular emote on Twitch. What about this one? No, oh, no. I have seen, this is not a joke. I have seen people use Fungineer. Really? I don't know what it's meant to mean, but I have seen people use it. Okay, what about this one? Yeah, I've definitely never seen that one. That looks terrible. <laughs> Got a, it's not even a fucking transparent background. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. What about this one? It's just poorly cut around. I like that one. <laughs> uh. Next time I'm watching Dane, I'll message him something and put J. Ken style in it. Alright. Oh, what the hell's DB style? <laughs> that was good. I like that one. That one's good. Oh, DB style. Now we're talking. Some of these dogs there. It's like I've never <laughs> seen these before. He hates it. Why, why is there a CalArts version of the Crunchyroll uh, mascot? You know why. Max, right, max level long snouted seahorse sushi. Oh, seahorse skewers. Salted and oh, roasted seen... on a skewer. It... Never seen this one before in my life. Why is this here? Angry Speaking Joe, of Kalax. Kalax, I agree, Strawberry. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Like, I, I know, like, the really old crust, like, the really crusty ones are, like, basically, crust uh, ones. they're, like, Justin TV employees or whatever, like, who started the company or whatever. You say so, lad. It's news to me. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, like... Uh, you're probably right. I'm not, that's not argumentative, sorry. Or maybe they're, like, prom, they were, like, prominent people. Sorry, in if, if you say so, slash genuine. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> so it was... Oh. But yeah, there's, there's so much dog shit. There definitely is. Wait. Some of them are, like, clearly, like, 
trying to force something as well. Yeah, yeah. And I don't mean those. I don't mean the flag ones. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> no, before playing, I think no, I think all that the like um, gender spectrum shy is is well shy, but like if you if the sure, I'll I'll let people do that if they want. Yeah. But it's just it's just like a lot of these <laughs> Oh boy. You can just, I mean, you can just prevent emotes from being can, used. True, so. yep. God, some of them I don't even like. Uh... Anyway. But yeah, it's very clear that they're like, they're trying to like, it, it doesn't feel like, uh, a lot of these don't feel particularly organic, they're just like, oh. No, they don't, yeah. We, we want this to they be a popular they don't feel like, expression They don't this. feel like Total Biscuit lol or Bible Thump up from Binding of Isaac. They did yeah, not yeah, naturally yeah. progress as part of the culture. Total ass cancer. <laughs> oh. I bled for my asshole for a year and I thought, nah, it's probably nothing. Yes. We here at Glenforge Games recommend that if you bleed from your asshole for more than a day, go to the doctor. Controversial take. Have you ever had a hemorrhoid blow though? I've never had a hemorrhoid blow. I have had a hemorrhoid. I've had a hemorrhoid blow. It's fucking terrifying. That doesn't sound good at all. It's it's a thing that can just happen. What is what is a hemorrhoid? We here at Glenforge Games love having conversations like this. What is a hemorrhoid blowing? Like essentially, it bursts. Okay. So, you know, a tiny sack of blood on the end at the end of your asshole that just decides to pop. Um, Do you like have to sit on it weird or is it just like a pressure thing? It's just a pressure thing. It can just happen while you poop. Jesus. This man is straining. Um, <laughs> no, no. But it's um it's pretty it's pretty bad. That sounds bad. Cuz it cuz it's like scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep, Moriel. I need you. Right now, we paint the thorn. Why do I keep missing the shark? Holy shit! Hit it! He's dead. Jesus. Oh my god, not now, lionfish. <laughs> Go to sleep, little lionfish. Why did 
fight that mess? Can I only hit its tail or something? God, I wish I'd found a harpoon upgrade before this. Swimming with the hush dart. I should have just brought the sniper rifle. What is the hush dart? It tranquilizes small fish. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! How much health does this thing have? Can you just shoot it with more tranks? No, it doesn't stack like that. I think it should. Though, whenever I go to harvest a large sleeping fish, uh, it always says can't do that, basically. There must be some kind of upgrade I have to get later on in. Let's me harvest sleeping large fish. The small sleeping fish, like if you're watching this fish right here, if I try and him and swim away, he'll go to sleep, and I can just grab him, stuff him in my pocket. Even though he's pretty big. Anything, anything bigger than like that, though, I can't just trank and catch. It's better to trank them, right? If you trank them, you get them at three stars. If you harpoon them, you get them at two stars. And if you fuck up the harpoon minigames, you can get them at one star. Or like if you melee kill them, you get them at one star. Which I don't think is yeah. correct. I feel like if you melee kill them, you should get them at a higher quality. More difficult. But it's not the game's rules. The exception of I found a sleepy hammer in a chest on this run. So I can melee kill things and get them at three stars. As long as I don't actually kill them. But it only hits for one damage, so it's very unlikely I kill anything I'm hitting. Oh, another shark out here to the east. Now I have an upgraded spear tip, so it should go a little bit better. Or I may just run away, depending on what kind of shark it is. Oh, it's just a white tip. That's fine. Come here, white tip. I miss. Okay. Oh. Oh. I just forget they have more health at night. What the hell? There we go, Jesus. Who does he think he is? Jesus. I used up all my life trying to get that pizza. His name is mine. Are you a sushi enjoyer, Aiden? Yeah. Okay. It's just, um, difficult to acquire. Really? There's not a restaurant. We live on an island, near. lad. <laughs> There's not a restaurant near us. That's fair. That is surprising, though. Sushi's so popular nowadays. Even if you live in a backwater, you can usually find it somewhere. Popular in urban areas. It's definitely more popular in urban areas, I'd agree with that. 
Can I find an ammo pickup, maybe? Maybe we could invite some women? Like, the nearest, uh... Nearest one for us is inside, is a kiosk in a supermarket. Mm hmm. And that's like half an hour away. Yeah. There's some ammo. Jesus, I had some for ages to find that. Um. And then there's... No, it's about the same. Maybe about 40, 50 minutes. Like, it's like, I, we can go to, like, other cities and there's one, but there isn't really one here. Okay. It's, uh... Well, like, you can still buy supermarket stuff, which is basically, like, fucking like gas station sushi or whatever, but... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I never, I never saw your hot take. Uh, weeks ago, you remember me posting that uh, Sadiq Khan message that was like London was built by immigrants? Oh, what was your yeah, hot take it. on that? Because I thought it was hilarious. Speaking of Dane, I just got a DM from Dane. Oh, uh, I just. I don't know. I don't. I hate the guy. I hate. Not Dane, but I hate Sadiq Khan. <laughs> Hate day. <laughs> hate. Hate newspapers. Um, no, like, I don't know. I don't really... No, I think he's just kind of a retard in general. Um, he's trying to get... They're trying to get night... Uh, they're trying to get nit uh, nitrous oxide banned. Or, you know, like... Nit Why? Ooh. Because people are in fucking... Inhaling it. People are doing whippets or whatever the fuck. Can they just, put it, like, on, can no. they just put it on like a restricted list like they do everything else? So you have to have like be an oh, adult, you could just... adult to buy it or whatever. Yeah, because it, it does have genuine like applications and stuff. I was in a shop the other day and I was with some friends and one of them was buying chapstick and it's like they asked him for ID and I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? Apparently people are doing something with chapstick nowadays. Oh no. Shut Chap, them up there. Chap in their ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Put the lipstick on. <laughs> Fuck her up. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. That's so fucking stupid. I don't... I don't really get it. Why ban any- why ban anything at all? Also, even if people are inhaling it, you're fucking European, aren't you supposed to be, like, open-minded? What's wrong with people inhaling some NOS? Yeah, there's actually nothing wrong with it, because it's literally just- Just gets you high for it. Kills some brain yeah. cells for it. Kills some brain cells and makes you giggle. That's about it, really. That's it. Not like we're running out of NOS like we are helium or anything. Uh... I don't remember if they use it for... They do use nitrogen for, um... They... What is it? Some... Alcohol stuff uses nitrogen, I think. Is it nitrogen or is it CO2? I don't know. There was like a... Sh there was like a shortage of a gas a while ago, and it was like really fuck. It really fucked up. Like the I specifically remember it was like the beer industry and salad. Salad. Be yeah, because um, pre-cut salad they fill the bags. I can't remember whether it's with CO two or whether it's with nitrogen. That makes sense. It would spoil slower if it's not exposed to oxygen. Yeah, basically that's what it is. Um, and. As a result, they were, like, having to, uh, I think they were just doing it without, and so, for a while, salad was just, like, it was going off in, like, a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's 
But yeah, I don't know. Like, generally, the consensus, though, is with, like, I think... I feel like a lot of the UK feels like this, but I, I don't really have much frame of reference, really. Is that uh, London believes it, like, London does its own thing, and the rest of the country does something else. Are you telling me London goes its own way? Yeah, and it's usually a shittier way. <laughs> and and London themselves pretend like that's the way that everyone goes. Yeah, so I know with, what you mean. Yeah. This is exactly like what happened with like Lamal Brexit or whatever, is that like there's a discrepancy between what's actually like what actually people think and like Right, what yeah, yeah. Think. Like David Cameron's like Brexit can't win, so we like to stake this whole career under or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, the EU's stupid. I'm <laughs> glad you guys got out. Even if it has caused difficulties because half the country is refusing to go along with it. Well, yeah, and then, then there's also, we're getting, like, spike deal trade uh, trade deals. My favorite meme is the Brexit never could have worked, and this is the proof, while simultaneously half your parliament and politicians are actively sabotaging Brexit. It's like, yeah, it, could, it could never have worked. It's like, really? Could it not have? What, also if, just what if you fun. weren't actively sabotaging the country? Uh, that, they always have to sabotage the country because um, when you're on an election cycle and you don't think that you're going to succeed, uh, you have to ruin it for the next people. Ah, uh, okay. That's how it works. That's if you're spicy. <laughs> that's how it's currently going as well. So that's good. They, I think conservatives believe that they're going to lose the next general election, so yeah, they're just enacting a bunch of shit just to... Uh, they lost the last one, didn't they? Um, or do they no, win they're the last still... One? They, won, they won the last one. They lost but seats, I think though, I they, thought. They lost a lot of seats, which yeah, is why... Yeah, that's what I meant. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there's also, like, local elections, which are... It's, it's weird, it's, like, separate from... You can have a local election you can have a local mayor that's of a certain party and then the mp of that region is of the opposing party yeah so you can have local you can have local and elections just where against they, each other all the time yeah i guess so it's oh, yeah. I don't know, it's fucking weird right but that that's a that's a thing that happens um I can't even remember if it happened here. I think we, I think it did happen here. I think it, we ended up with a conservative MP with a Labour mayor. Yeah. Which is just strange. There's a lot of stupid bullshit that like happens within like it. It happens even within news cycles and stuff. Like um, people are just fucking retarded and they don't. Um, uh, I consistently see articles about like um, like the the current epic fear mongering is that the, the pro things are getting expensive because of the ramifications of like of a. Uh, what? Of a proxy war with Russia, yeah, yeah. Um, and oh no, the, the price of natural gas is suddenly skyrocketing, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And um, there's just so, there's just so many articles that are just like hilariously out of touch. Um, and it, it's very clear, like clear, like the the class divide, <laughs> uh, as well as like. Um, As well as like the London divide. Yeah, yeah.
right there. Give me that. I'll come back for you, hush gun. Don't don't despawn. either, but it gave it to me anyway. Inventory full. What's I even doing down there? Baby whale got lost. I should look around and see if I hear it's crying. What the daytime mission. Thing. You get quite a lot of views on your old, on your RuneScape videos for some reason. Yeah, I know. I've been noticing that. People at least click on them. They don't necessarily watch for a yeah. long time, but they do click on them. Maybe you should, if you ever do like if you're like doing the, the RuneScape stuff, you should timestamp if you're in like a specific area or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I mean, there's definitely more work I could put into my videos. I could also actually edit them down and take out all the downtime and uninteresting shit. I could go in and do voiceover work for it. I could definitely put yeah, more but effort that's, into that's, it. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of effort. I was, I was just thinking simply just adding timestamps to your to the video of approximately when you're doing certain stuff? My thought process on that is that it's really easy just to click around where you want to go on a video. Based on, I guess it's harder on thumb. I guess it's harder on mobile, and a lot of people watch on mobile nowadays. So. I I, I, I'm I, just, I could definitely it's more, it. I could definitely consider it. I like chapters. Or I'm, I'm more yeah, just yeah. thinking because um, when you've got a video that's like 10... Hours long, yeah. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody going to be watching it from start to finish kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I have two mindsets about it. There's definitely some laziness involved, but it's like, it's not... The YouTube channel is not meant to be getting views. It is literally just an archive of VODs right now, but at the same time... You know, I could put minimal effort in to do something like what you're talking about, and it wouldn't really cost too much effort. And apparently, people are at least clicking on the RuneScape videos for some reason, so... Might, yeah, yeah, yeah. Might do to have people watch them. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, like, it is basically just the RuneScape videos that are getting views, and I'm not a RuneScape streamer. Charlie, sure, you're not going back to it'll be stream a, It'll be a hot minute until I relapse and play RuneScape again. Uh, I don't really want to sucker a bunch of people into watching my RuneScape content when I think I only have like three more videos left that will eventually be going out. Yeah. I definitely could though. I did timestamp the uh, podcast episode when the black screen ends. Black screen ends, but uh, that's been it so far. Best. Yeah. Oh shit! I have to turn down. No. If to what? I have to, I have to turn down the stream volume. I'm what? doing on mobile. I you were listening to the stream. I know it wasn't, but then okay. I looked at a YouTube thing. Okay. 
I asked Dane a few days ago what he does to get instant notification when someone subs or follows or whatever, because he's always really good about responding when that happens. And sometimes I miss them. Especially follows, because the restream chat doesn't show me when I get follows. Yeah. Um, and I was like, what do you use? What do you use? And uh, he didn't really give me a good answer. He's just like, I use Streamlabs, but it's been, you know, ages since I set it up. He said you can link your Twitch account and then amend alerts on their site. And I'm like... I don't know. I didn't quite follow what he meant. What I really need... Is to somehow get an alert on my main monitor when I get a follow on Twitch or Kick. I don't know how to set something like that up. I need like a desktop notification that will overwrite, like, game mode. Because that's something Windows does I think, now. I think that's what Streamlabs does. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have Streamlabs OBS, I've just got regular OBS. I don't know. I don't... But yeah. I've right. never tried it because Ooh! it's, uh... Get me out of here. Get me out of here, this part is bad. Of, part of it is allowing, like, um... I don't want it on my fucking phone, you know? <laughs> <sighs> um... Can I take a fucking tiger shark right now? Probably not. I just want to look at the goddamn features. Show me its features. Show me your genitals. Genitalia. What the fuck? What the fuck is Trovo? Hello? They're like, you can stream to Trovo. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> oh shit, it's, an it's another one. Another one. Catch me over on Trovo, lad. All Ooh. games. Uh, it appears to be... Love me, Trovo. It's got a maximum of about... 6k viewers. Oh. Most of the game names are in Russian. Oh. Now we're talking. I can grow the English-speaking audience over on Tro Trovo. Just trying to see, like... Alright, featured. What happened to Tony? He used to join the calls. He's not been around the last few days. Must be busy with work no, or no. something. Maybe he's busy. Russian fishing. Four. That's a game? It is now. I don't think it's a bad idea. Oh, is it a fishing simulator set in Russia? True horror. Weird. When are they gonna come out with a Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl fishing game? I don't know, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm looking at. Maybe it could be. Oh my god. Mostly positive all time, mixed reviews recently. Oh my god. You can tell me Russi Russian fishing fell off? Uh... Basically, basically, it's free. It's a free-to-play fishing game. That's the weirdest thing. Oh, those are always good. Anyway, back to back to fucking Trovo. What the fuck? Mojo Trovo. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. I can't click on the art and craft stream because there's nobody watching apparently. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, Ness could get a real following over there. Become the first arts and crafts streamer. I'm trying to look up the category, like... No, I, under I understand that. I know, I was just... Ooh, outdoors and travel, there's 131 people watching. Twenty twenty three Midwest National Air Shirt and Regional Milking. Hello? <laughs> Who's getting milk? The regional milking show. Who's getting milked? <laughs> Dude, nice. <laughs> it's I'm moving over to Trovo. We'll be right back. Fuck. <laughs> what do you do for Dodge. a living? I I get milked. <laughs> Milking streams. No, it's like it's a it's a cow show. Oh, they're all like showing off calves. That's currently. nice. Love a good calf. Yeah, it's like it's like a competition. Amazing. There's literally four streams in the outdoors and travel. This is like a really small one. Yeah, yeah. Another. There seems to be a lot of Russians. What the fuck? Not that that's a problem, but it's it's weird because it's like you go on to you click a category. Yeah. And it's a single per. It's like, okay, so Assassin's Creed, 102 viewers, right? 102 people watching Assassin's Creed? What the fuck? Uh, it's one person streaming Assassin's Creed to 102 people. Well, which, actually. Which, which Assassin's Creed? Sorry, two people to stream. Like, I don't know. The category's wrong because it, it shows the latest one. And then it's. they Also, they spelt it wrong. Oh man. It's Assassins. Hmm. Sounds right to me. Assassins. No, but like the picture has different spelling than the name and <laughs> the writing. <laughs> I don't know, lad. It sounds to me like you're just being a hater. But yeah, it was like I clicked on uh, Guardi Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy to 108 viewers, and it was one person. I love that for them. Music and radio. Someone's just streaming the lo-fi beats fucking YouTube thing, I guess. There's people doing that on Twitch, too. Like bootleg loafs. Why? I don't know. It must get some views. Yeah, because I think people just put it on and leave it. That's crazy to me, because Twitch uses so much more computational energy than just pulling up YouTube. Than just pulling up YouTube, yeah. yeah. What the fuck is Stumble, guys? <laughs> is there a bootleg I'm, fuck? I'm stumbling. <laughs> is there a bootleg Fall Guys? What the fuck? Must be. Which is crazy, because isn't Fall Guys free? Yeah. Wild. Please enter my age. Zero years. Way. <laughs> 55 plus. Stumble Guys is coming to Xbox. Let's like go. On Steam. on Steam. Stumble Guys real. Came out in 2021 and it has 32 player online. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna spend 10 black vinegar upgrading this dish. It's not worth all that much anything. Maybe. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Oh, almost got Titan Triggerfish fully researched. Posted on the 16th of July. Recommended. Two hours played. My gambling addict friend said if I post a review on Stumble Guys and it gets 150 likes and 50 awards, he will buy me a case of beer and some vodka. So I'm just gonna leave this here. 
How many likes did it get? Uh, it's not there yet. It's literally only two days, but... Oh, man. It said, uh... It's only 37 people found this review helpful at the moment. And only 12, only, uh... 16 awards right now. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, yeah, most of the reviews are just memes. Like, stupid reviews, whatever. My ex-girlfriend blew me while I played this game, 10 out of 10. Seems legit. Good game to jerk to. <laughs> <laughs> then ah, there's another <laughs> review. The other review immediately below it is ad sex. <laughs> oh, the sex update. Holy shit. Was it a good game to get blown to? Uh, it was like my my ex girlfriend blew me while I played this that's ten it, out of ten. That's it. Art and craft, thirty five viewers, thirty six viewers. There's someone drawing something. There's Russian people drawing emotes. What the fuck? There's another Russian person. Drawing a really nice picture of an owl to zero people. That's sad. It's like an anthropomorphic owl. Yeah. It's like, it's really nicely done, though. I'll just, I'll just throw you the screenshot. Okay. There you go. I don't know what the go is. There's a 3D model of a goat. And then there's someone doing game dev, I guess? Yeah, there's only 36 people playing. Oh, what the fuck is Free Fire? Oh, I know this. There's some weird free to play game that's like a fucking. It's like mobile. And it's like. It's basically PUBG, kind of. But for some reason it's absolutely loved by, like... East Asians? Not East Asians. Nif... Ah. Yeah, no, West Asians. I don't know what the fuck you call it. <laughs> like Arab... Arabs and Indians. That kind of... That kind of region? Yeah. For, Middle I East don't know. plus... Yeah, Middle East Plus, like... <laughs> Middle East Plus Far East, I guess. Sure. That's, that makes sense, right? Sure. I don't know. I like that owl. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, I know, I know it's like furry stuff or whatever, but like... I guess I can forgive it because it says D and D on the tile, so it's gonna be like a character or whatever. Yeah. A thing. Serbo <laughs> 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 Croatian. In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch tuna. I like tuna. I am a certified tuna enjoyer. streaming their ch or is this different people? Oh, I'm 
so confused. You're gonna get this screenshot first. Here it comes. Right? And then this one. I'm sure it should bump together. Like a little look see. The hell? Is that her on both screens? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's the two people. I don't know. But then one's French and one's Arabic. I don't... I'm confused. I'm not clicking, because I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get baited like this. But... Oh, the day trade forex. So yeah, this was the, the just chatting category. I was curious as to what they had. Oh. Hey, about two more A's. Oh, they have a creative section as well. Hmm. Russian, Russian, Serbian, Russian. Holy shit, this aquarium's full. Not even full, 71%. What the hell? What's weird as well is that uh, the interface on this, if you're looking through categories, I think it shows the person at the top of the category on yeah. the category itself. Right. So like, it, for example, uh, Path of Exile, um, 23 viewers, and then it's got like the tags of the game, action RPG horror, and then it has a couple of, and then a live, the person who's live. I guess with the most viewers. Right. Yep, sure is. Ah, oh, truly, truly incredible. They have a... There's a VTuber category, right? Yeah. Yeah. Guess how many VTubers are there, are in it, due to... Based on the thumbnail of the stream alone. Five? One. Oh, okay. There are seven streams. Incredible. Eight. Um, yeah, very, very weird. Like, very weird website. Hmm. Anyway, I was looking at Streamlabs. You gave me a tour, but you didn't really tell me what you do. Yeah. It's kind of a...
That's weird. Find a baby whale. Going to shit. <laughs> shit and come. Don't burst a hemorrhoid line. Yeah, true. That's real fucking bad, don't do it. <laughs> I do not recommend this. Very bad. I streamed in. There we go. Cause I was fucking about with Trovo, it like killed your stream. Damn. I had it on like the tiny window, yeah. But you know, like when you play a different video while you have picture in picture going, it just fucking pauses one. Yeah, yeah. Or at least it does that most of the time. No. For some reason, Discord, it doesn't care. Probably go jiggle the chicken. Hello? What are you talking about? <laughs> I got chicken marinating in the fridge, bro. Oh, okay. Got some drumsticks. I got. I had some leftover limes. And I had. Um, I had some leftover limes because I bought a. Uh, it's really, really struggling today. I think it's the lack of caffeine. Um, or nicotine. I don't know. Shovel. Some, some addictive, addictive substance. Probably some addictive substance. Um, this is my life. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of it, but um, it's a an app thing called Too Good to Go. Um, it's like fairly prominent in the UK. Is that the thing where you can um, like get uh, sent uh, like a notification about places that are having food going bad, and so it's sort of cheap or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, typically, it's like oh, you give us like a little bit of cash, and um, we'll give you X amount of stuff. Yeah. To the value of whatever. Um, and yeah, it's like at the end of the end of the service day, they'll just like bag up. Some places they're like they'll just bag up everything and give you it, or they'll like say yeah, that we've got like five portions of this, so they'll divide it by into five. Right. So I got like three bags of limes the other day. <laughs> um, it's all limes up. So I had lime juice. And I was like, uh, I'll do like, I, I got like mango chutney. Yeah. Um, like I just bought like a nice mango chutney. And so I combined that with lime juice and paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been marinating since yesterday. Bro is cooking. The limes were like, the limes were like nearly like gone, like bad, but yeah. they were still usable. They were okay. they were just like going going brown. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I recently bought a juicer because we didn't have a juicer before. And by that I mean like the mechanical kitchen implement, not like a fucking appliance. Right. Like we know, we never actually had some something that can juice an orange or a lemon. We just did it like you just squidge it, but you you make 
There's so there's so much juice that you actually lose by not having one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's what I did with the with the limes. The other is that um, uh, I made like a mojito tea. Mm -hmm. Um, I got some lemon green tea and uh, some fresh mint and lime juice. And then basically made the pot of tea, um, combined with lime juice, honey, and the mint. Yeah. Uh, it, it was very nice. Mm -hmm. Not really like a tea drinker on the regular though. So I don't like we drink it, but we don't drink it nearly as much as we're like stereotypical Brits do. Yeah, I guess so. We used to drink it quite a bit, but I don't know. Here in the south, people drink a lot of sweet tea, but I'm not a sweet tea guy, so I kind of get what you mean. Sweet tea's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to to call it disgusting, but I'm not a huge fan either. Disgusting. Disgusting. One of you took a big shat. Yeah, it's fucking. It oh no, I've had. One of you. Disgusting. Had... Disgusting. <laughs> I've had sweet tea. Yeah. Well, it's fucking rank. Literally too sweet. I agree, for the most part. Literally, we are looking for the apex position of when the sugar is like, there's about to be too much sugar and it doesn't dissolve. Yeah, yeah, basically. We're looking, we're looking for that precise point. Basically. It's, it's, it's too much. Some people do make it with significantly less sugar, to be fair, but it's still significantly more sugar than you would ever put in, like, a British tea. If the main flavor you want is sugar, then why not just have sugar? That's it. Um... I've got no good answer for you. I'm not a, I'm not a sweet tea guy. Would you like more egg and lettuce? Hello? There was excess. Egg and lettuce. There was a. I did it with four eggs. Because oh. I did it with three eggs, and one of the eggs I had was cracked at the top, and I wasn't sure if it would like if it was leaking, and it wasn't leaking. It had just been squished a little bit, and the membrane had been broken. Um, so there was four eggs. Go on, you. Get in your bed. So following me around. What? I know, you were sleeping on the top of the sofa. A little, a little birdie watching spot. Anyway, yeah, like the too good to go thing, like yeah. it does exist. It does exist in America. I, I remember looking this up a while ago. I was curious. It, but yeah, I know it's a thing. Yeah, you should have a look and try it occasionally. It's not like something I would do every day. 
Like, I, I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy from, like, eight different fucking restaurants and, like, like fill my fucking freezer with it and this is how we, this is how we live on a fucking budget or whatever, but, like... Right. It's, um... It's an app, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's occasionally... It's occasionally worth doing. I might check it out. Because uh, some places it's just like um, there are like supermarkets that do it or whatever, but there's also just like you know it's a restaurant. It's the end of the day or breakfast is over. So right here, collect like collect like five breakfasts. Yeah. A day of the diver video just went live. Mm. Yeah, it performs. Mm. I know it performs it's a new like game. I know it performs like shit on Twitch. I know that for sure. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a relatively new game, though, isn't it? Relatively, yeah. This, as far as I know. Into a new region? Yep. And hope there's not a boss fight because my ass has a trank gun. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Matt. You're, be you're being beaten by several VTubers. That figures. Oh, baby whale. Mm. Oh, oh, and and women. Maybe we could invite some of them. Maybe we could invite some. Hello, baby whale. Bro oh. really hit me with the concerned emoji. Hit your ass. He loves it. Smile emoji.
Pegou. mission for a little baby whale yeah all the enemies have had to fight are very early game enemies exceptionally early. maybe they're just, maybe they're just trying to like be nice to you because it's an escort mission oh my god Art. never mind Didn't give you a gift. What the fuck? I didn't oh, just like cough up. Well. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't just cough up a skeleton. Whole skeleton. <laughs> mm. And he's got like a cool watch or something. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> just. <laughs> I'll stick a watch. What? It forced me out of the ocean. That's bullshit. Oh my god. Maybe well. Did he just point the gun at himself? Not that I know of. The guy at the shop. That's good. He's drinking a beer. Oh, he's drinking a beer. It looked like he was pointing a point gun at himself. Gun at himself. <laughs> it's like, oh no. It's a big ass whale. Why is it blocking the entrance to the. Here comes the boss spot. <laughs> I have to now kill the mother whale. It's the mother of mother whales. That's it. I, I was rewarded Poseidon. What is Poseidon? I think it's a boat skin. I'm not sure. Oh. Wow, a pink dolphin. Wow, what a shit name. Pinky. Call oh, this pink like, dolphin Pinky. Like, like a vagina. They steal net sensor trap. Oh my god, finally. I finally captured a large fish that had been put to sleep. Oh, the drone! No. No, you two can rock up the submarines. Good. Dive into the water. Bazinga. <clears throat> Lionfish. Poisonous spines. Oh, 
Game break? This is supposed to be a tutorial right now. <laughs> There's no tutorial. Maybe I swim out here and see a tuna and then the tutorial starts? I don't fucking know. Alright, where's the moon? Aha. Uh -huh. Tuna. Yeah. They are fast. Holy oh, shit. Fuck it all. Abomination. Sleek tuna. Those are so big. Dude, just... big yeah. I mean, I know. I mean, I know that's what they are like in real life, but like, holy yeah. shit. Burn it into me too. <laughs> Very me. Oh, I still only shot a tank. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you really wanted that, Chris. Sarah's such a hater. No, she just hates Vegemite, and I only like Vegemite on this. Kilograms of tuna per tuna. Amazing. Sixteen thousand tuna. Sixteen thousand strings. Whoa. Wow. My shit pushed in by these tuna. Are they hitting you? Yeah. Run out, of, run out of oxygen, which is also my health in this game. Because you're made out of a...
All right, all four tuna cups. Oh my god. Big belly seahorse. Brachygonite.
that a new equipment or is that the same thing? Do what? Is that is that something new or is that just like the piece of shit? Or just the thing I've been using. Oh. <laughs> Oh wait, yours is like orange. Is that better than the purple one? Better than the purple one. Yeah, I'm looking down at the bottom right of your screen, yeah. your the one you have is like orange brown. Yeah. Is that better than the one you just picked up? Purple. What was purple? I'm very confused. Oh no, you're just swapping it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just swapping them. Okay. It's just that it was the icon was purple. Uh, the, when you when you picked it up, the it one showed I, the like one the, I, the one I have has sleep element tied to it, like tranquilizer element. It might, been, it might have been the purple you saw. I don't know. It has a little sleep, uh, I was, sleep Z Z Z thing that's purple. I was going off like um, Borderlands item logic because that's what we do now. Yeah, yeah. I don't or know I guess, or I guess like fucking. I don't know, is it, is it World of Warcraft, actually? I don't know if WoW started? started it, but WoW definitely popularized it. Or is it Diablo? Uh, WoW would have preceded Diablo, because I'm pretty sure Diablo won. But I think it was a Diablo team. Mm. I think WoW did it first. I think WoW came out before Diablo 2. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I know in Diablo 2, items have item color. Been a very long time since I played Which Diablo. Diablo two, or maybe Diablo one. Where did all colored, colored rarity? There you go. Come. No, it's straight up Diablo one. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I did not remember Diablo one having item color for rarities. Wikipedia says. um... Initially popularized with the 996 game Diablo, and it's 2000 sequel Diablo 2, so. When did WoW come out? Uh. 2004. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's because Diablo. Diablos were slightly different. Like, Diablo 1 was slightly different. It was white for normal items, blue for magic, gold for unique. Uh -oh. And then Diablo 2 added grey, uh, yellow, and green. And then World of Warcraft implemented grey, white, green, blue, purple, orange. Yeah, so yeah. The one that everyone, like, uses is World of Warcraft, but it technically started with Diablo. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Fair enough.
it's not fair. It fell asleep in the jet stream. I didn't get it. No, don't do it again! Oh my god. Wasted drink dart. Bluefin Tuna Akami and Bluefin Tuna Chutoro. Apparently there were two different kinds of Bluefin, or maybe you get both from each? I don't know. I'm sure. Fish, why are you chasing? Yeah. We're not even in the same biome anymore. Embarrassing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god. Is it because I'm tapping my phone a lot? I don't know what it is. I'm just curious what the noise yeah. is. Uh, when I type on my phone, I'm... So, yeah. Alright, look. It sounded like you were like doing something in the kitchen, maybe, or something. It's like a scrapey noise. Uh, I was a little bit ago. Okay. Oh, I'm also dude right now, so there's that. I don't think that was it. Oh. Bionicle. What? <laughs> One sec. I'll put the drum on it don't work here. It's an Imperial Knight, but it's the helmet and obviously the Lego pieces. I think it is a Bionicle helmet. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah. Thorns.
has a very brappy sound. A lot of doom, 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 doom. Well, that's all toilet sounds. <laughs> I like this new age of music. It is a lot of tuna. Seahorse, oh my god. Amazing. Where am I going? It's not right. I need to go 
this way. Oh, Lily, you're so cute. Chomping away at your kitty kibble. Chomp. Akayaki? Run off to us. Ah. Oh, we love Takia. Picked out a new item. Nice. New poop pooping. So horny. Good night. Hmm. 
mission complete. Octopus returns. The rusty weapon charm. Wonder what it'll do. I'll find my weapons. I'm sure. So front cheese. Holy shit, that's heavy. <laughs> God, that's a bright green Jesus. Thanks for noticing, babe. No, uh, it's just... They recommended a... I got recommended a green mm -hmm. for the highlight from my clicks and stuff. Yeah. Or for the, like, the green elements. Such a like, such a light green compared. Show you. I can't look right now. Man. Sorry, I'm taking a photo. Okay.
Depth upgrade. To research the grenade launcher. I think I've found enough of them now. And then I can run out of a schlaw. Oh. Amazing. The longest dive I've ever had, it's the deepest dive I've ever had, and it's the most things I've ever caught. Amazing. weapon shop. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Not too bad I use trank guns. Mm. Not really useful. <laughs>
Holy shit, that's it. Tranquilizing grenade launcher? Crazy. It's kind of wild. Yeah. Paralysis grenade. Gravity. Forty percent chance. Oh, the Alright, sniper rifle night dive and it is. Take pictures of manta ray. Apparently only show up at night. Oh so true.
finished. It's got a whole ass shark. <laughs> What'd you say, Lennon? Um, I said uh, I wasn't finished. And, uh, we, uh... Okay, I thought you were talking to me for a sec. No, I was, I was doing something dumb. Oh, love that for you. I was... I was painting something, and I'm like, okay, clean off the brush, I'm gonna do something else, and I was like, no, you're not done. Chop a Japanese sword.
Oh, ow. Careful, lad. It's just... I don't know, did you hear that? No. I assume something oh. popped. Yeah, my elbows. Piece of luck. Oh my god, I'm carrying this dog shit in my inventory. <laughs> Give me. Get out of here. Find something else, I'll get back to regular speed. Where's that two star barracuda I just want? Oh my god, I got two of them. My inventory sucks right now.
cheap or Japanese sword. Very poor quality. So true, lad. Just really trying to like fix this one up. <laughs> because there's like those little spots that I missed because I was trying to reach behind. Well, I was I ignored reaching behind the hair on this scarf. No. There's a tiny patch. Why? All right, where's another? Trying to reach under it with this light. I don't really want to drop a level three barracuda. Boss, it's the skulls. This red is so heavily pigmented. If I touch anything other than the thing that I'm trying to paint red, it's fucking <laughs> Five kilogram jellyfish. What the hell? Jellyfish. Are jellyfish five kilograms? Oh, I always thought jellyfish were all light. It looks so white floating. And they've washed up on shore, I've kicked them around, they seem light. All the jelly, bro. Nah, it's probably because the, the kinds that you see on the beach aren't the kinds that you would uh, harvest, if that makes sense. Harvest you in a second. On <laughs> And as for sushi, there is one like the. Yeah. Can't, can't just have fucking moon jellyfish that roll onto the beach. You gotta. You gotta get the rarest, most endangered thing possible, right? Probably. I made a ball of blue cum. Mm. Oh my god, it's a manta ray. Mm. 
really is a manta ray. <laughs> Must keep my distance. Okay. Ugh. We sucking. Sucking up some plankton. And then there was one lady who I like, fucked up with a pink company. No. I think that picture sucks, but the game likes it, so we'll go with it. Sure. Goodbye, Manta Ray. I wash out my brush. Touch fucking. Touch brush to paint. And the pe and the fucking it's like I was just using red, this like really deep red. Yeah. And then I go to like touch this white paint and it just makes the fucking just makes the white pink. Holy shit, I'm rich. Like in the pot. Oh, I see why the sub upgrades are so expensive. Whenever you pull something back with the sub, you get way more meat off of it. Holy cannoli! afford it. Any of the main story tomorrow? It's dry. I hate it. He hates it. No, it's like I rotate them, I rotate the miniature around, like slightly, and I notice like a spot of just like where I completely missed. Oh. Because I hadn't, I hadn't held, I hadn't looked at it in this very specific angle. Fair enough. So it was like her glove is her. She has like a, a bodysuit on. Oh. That's, right? Yeah. They all do. Um, but it like covers, it covers like the, the arms and legs, so you can't really, like, there's no skin. Yeah. Um, so I painted her, I painted her red, or at least one arm of it red, because, uh, the red is supposed to be a continuous theme for me. Okay. Uh, so I'm just splashing onto this model whenever I can. Yeah. Uh, parts of her hand were just white because they were missed. They, uh, like, I completely missed. Like, she's holding her, her hand out, like, in an open palm, right? Sure. Um, let's say she's casting a spell because that's what she fucking does. Okay. Um, the area at the back of the thumb, all the way to the wrist, was just white. <laughs> very, very upsetting. <laughs>
It's not even the water, it's the fucking brush. Brush just holds pigment for too long. I know I'm swapping some like pretty aggressive pigments, but. Uh... <laughs> I still have six jet bikers to paint and I still can't be bothered! <laughs> it's like I've done everything else instead of doing, like, progressing them. It's fine. It's fine. Well, they're literally the only thing that needs to be done. I just... Uh, I can't. <laughs> they're not even that difficult. They're just dudes not... They're just not on bases. Yeah. They're just, they're just in little saddle poses. But they're exactly the same as the regular dudes. You know? Yeah.
Clean, take a photo, nice. Cleaned up. Back oh, it made the like join call noise and, like it was me just like dropping. Oh. I thought it was someone genuinely joining the call. No, it was you. You left the call. It was it was me. It Hello. was you all along. Hello today. Fish. I've just crafted the largest possible net gun. I'm curious to see if the largest net gun will be able to trap medium sized fish, or if it will still be just small fish, but shoot out a much larger net. 
I have a feeling it's going to be still only small fit. Alright. Got it. I don't know. Try it out. Fucking scream. Oh my god. Do it, lad. No, it's just this fucking red, bro. It's like I repositioned the model, and there's just like a tiny little bit more of height that I haven't hit. Okay, small kitty. Where? Feed the small kitty common cat food. Oh, you're, uh, my, because, uh, I got disconnected, my stream was paused on, uh, the upgrade for the weapon. Oh, okay. And all I, oh, <laughs> I could see with a, a man assembling a gun together and had, a, yeah. what appears to be an anime girl on his shirt. What's that, lad? And it was, it, like, peeks yeah. through as he takes, as he puts it together. And that's what it was frozen on. <laughs> I have like a six year old girl working at my restaurant. Thanks, Obama.
version 1.0.0.980 dot steam I love a good dot steam on my to-do list inspect the village at this room alright, well, I'm gonna check out this net gun right, bring it, bring the net gun I don't want I don't want to survive for a short period after running out of oxygen No, I've never had to actually use maybe a completely wasted arm. Never need it. When animals kill you, you still die instant. Only when you actually run out of off. Alright, Aiden, here it comes. The big neck. About three whole the, Oh, he's out. The big nut. Big nut gun. medium fish. I just gotta hit one and see if they break out of the net or not. Absolutely break out of the net. Great. Oof. 
store. <laughs> and it's like, the fuck is he talking? <laughs> times points on my next Happy Meal purchase from McDonald's. That's amazing. I've never oh. bought a Happy Meal from McDonald's. Maybe that's why. My ass is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Question for you. 
What's heavier? A kilogram of steel? Or a kilogram of feathers? That's right! It's a kilogram of steel. A steel is heavier than feathers. I find I'm using the you opt for the Irish accent as opposed to the Glaswegian. Can't do a Lemmy accent. <laughs> Now is not the time to be a bully. Just try to do a Dane accent. Your I like. <laughs> Today. Oh. <laughs> Quick, cut the bond. Don't let Dane hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Abort. No, I, just, I, I was just thinking if that's how you do Irish, my assumption is if you do, like, if you did, like, scars like that, it would end up. It would end up Glaswegian, so... <laughs> but... It's always good when you say something and then your immediate response is just, Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yellowfin tuna. You're saying my Dane impression's no good luck. I just made the assumption. I maybe I shouldn't, but so over. Does it Dane accent? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Cutscene. Giant whale! Oh, Can I take a picture? I should probably take a picture. Pitch. Probably.
back with this mimer, I have to wait for a different dive. Turns out I have to wait for a different dive. Works for me. Every other picture I've ever taken has let you have like infinite time to take pictures and try to get one you like. That one's, I guess, different. Quality cat food. Let's go. That baby kitty. You're eating good tomorrow.
Treasury. Oh, and shit, it's time for my free shit on my phone. What am I gonna get? Oh boy. Baseball theme. Free cooler tote. It's all pink. <coughs> A free what? A cooler tote. I'll send Can, you I a warm one. Can I have a warm Can I have a warm No. Sorry, lad. Here you go, gamer. Comes with a free white woman and child. Oh. 50% off orange bowl, orange chicken bowl from Panda Express. Okay. How can it be a cooler if uh, it's got mesh? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering the yeah. same thing. Might go out and get that later. Although the, the nearest, uh, it's my cell provider that offers this stuff every week. The nearest one to make clothes, like the shop clothes. I'm not actually sure where the closest one is. I do know where one is, but I don't know if that's the closest. One. Um, yeah, it's saying the one where I knew was at. This is the closest one. Or Panda Express? I wouldn't mind some orange chicken. There is a Panda Express down there. Get my free tote and some orange chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not good. No. I know. Good boy. What's that food thing called? Uh, too good to go. Okay. Well, I'm adding the Panda Express app, I may, may as well add it too. Espresso. Going today and get a welcome gift. What's the welcome gift? I don't know, it's not telling me. I'll give him one time per account though. Earn panda points with each qualifying purchase. Team special offers. So much more by joining Panda Rewards. Sign up today. Receive a welcome gift. On and up. Here's my junk email. Welcome. Verification. Yay, the password requirements match my least effort password. <laughs> One I use for all the shit food apps that will allow it whenever I get logged out.
Yeah, yeah. Alright, what are my rewards? Told me I'd get a reward. During your birth month, choose one of three gifts just for your special day. Great news, my birthday is in January. And I'll lie and say it's the 20th. Definitely the 20th of July, yep, yep. No, oh, January. I gave him the right month. Ah. Uh, come on, lad. Be like, I, yep, I, don't, I, I don't want to be getting birthday rewards in July. Be great for the VOD watchers. Of which there are many. Well. Hey, there was a significant amount of people um, of people watching your RuneScape show. Okay, he got there eventually. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, I was chewing. Earn 10 panda points for every $1 spent on qualifying purchases. Unlock a surprise gift, asterisk, asterisk, every month. Get a birthday gift, asterisk, asterisk, from us. Points expire after 365 days of no qualifying purchases. Damn, I have to buy takeout Chinese food once a year? What the hell? Can't believe it. 1,500 points to get a meal. I just spent $150 oh. there to get a meal. Amazing. The value. Man, if only I could drive. <laughs> British moment. No, I just I just be buying a lot more uh Covery breakfast. For two pounds, like Let's see if there's anything in the center of Doncaster around 6 o'clock. Doncaster. Doncaster. I still think about that AC Valhalla clip I made. <laughs> it's like, oh, to Doncaster! And I'm like, Doncaster? <laughs> it's the first time anybody had mentioned Doncaster in that game. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the first time it's been mentioned in, like, any game. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Oh, is this it? Is this my Panda Express reward for signing up on the app? Nope. There isn't. Scammed again.
Ew. So true. The cam stole my mustache hair. What the hell? <laughs> I gotta pull up that Doncaster clip because now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Holy shit, when I type in YouTube Twin Lamp, it actually brings up my channel now. Used to always just bring up other bullshit. Speaking of dead channels. <laughs> Alright, where's my Doncaster clip? Where is it at? Oh, I bet I, did. I bet I didn't put it on this channel. Yeah, I didn't put it on the other one. Put it on the one I'm already signed in as. Where's that? YouTube Studio. Show me. Show me Doncaster. There it is. Unlisted. February 17th of 23. Give me the link. I'm gonna link it to my boy Aiden so he can watch it again too. Incredible thumbnail. Doncaster <laughs> for a victory piece. Amazing. That'll be on the stream too because I put it in the quote unquote wrong browser. At least the audio will be there. Dude, nice. Yeah. Hello, Donna Cast. Donna Cast. Donna Caster. 
can't believe you went to Doncaster for a victory feast. Who would do such a thing? Shut down this stream while I figure out something. I'll be in the call for a while. Alright. I'm gonna stop the